This is Tuesday, uh, February 11th, and we are at the Brewster Ladies Library. Uh, my name is Beth Finch, and we are talking today with Helen Mattel. Helen, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you. And I know you've had a history not only in Brewster, but with the library. Yes. I and I'm looking forward to talking with you about that, too. Oh, good. But first, I'd like to know something about you and your family's connection to Brewster Park, because I understand that was where you first came to know Brewster. Yes. Uh, my father had two of his fr uh, childhood friends who were coming to Brewster Park in the summertime. And when um, he heard about how wonderful it was from them, and he finally convinced my mother uh, that we should see it, we should come down. And so we came down for a month in 1933, and my mother fell in love with it. Oh. And uh, we have been here almost every summer since 1933, uh, sometime during the summer. And as uh, we children came along, um, we spent more and more of the time in, uh, we would spend the, pretty much the day after school was out till the day before it started, we would spend in Brewster Park. Mm -hmm. now, where were you living the rest of the year? Uh, in Medford, Massachusetts. Okay. What was your father's work? Uh, he was an engineer. Uh, he had graduated from MIT, and he worked with an engineering company in Boston. Okay. <clears throat> so it was one of those situations where the mother and the children came and he yes. visited Yes, and then he, he would come weekends. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> and, and so the first year you were here for a month. For a month. And then and later? Afterwards, we, uh, it would be two months. Two months. Be pretty much June, uh, July, well, end of June till the end of August, 1st of July. So at first September. you rented a place? Yes, we did. In fact, we rented the house uh, until after uh, World War II, uh, until the latter part of the 40s yep. is when they, uh, they never bought it when we were little. Uh, as children because mother and dad were afraid that as we grew older we might not like it we might want to do oh. something else and so it wasn't until after the war that um, uh, they decided <laughs> we were all uh, <laughs> love Brewster Park so they Did bought the house, the house we always rented the same house we were always there which house was it can you tell me it's one of the Hodgson portables uh, and it's uh, up on the first street, Cava, Cava Road. Uh, it's on Cava Road, which is the first street back from the bluff, from the ocean. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Do you know if that house is still there? We still have it. You still own uh, it? And, yes. All right, I guess it is. Well, it's my children's now. I've just yes. turned it over to the children. Yes. 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 And do they come back every uh, year? Uh, yes. Oh, my goodness, yes. Uh, well, there were, um, I had a brother and a sister, so there were three of us. And mother and dad uh, left it to the three of us when they died. And then um, my, both my brother and sister have died and their children now own it. And so my, where there were three of us that own it, there are now 11 who own it. And I don't know how that's gonna work out. It gets complicated. <laughs> it, it, it gets very, and my, I've just turned mine, um, a third over to my children. Yeah. <clears throat> So do they come for sh shorter times? I guess. Oh yes, yeah. They. Uh, what do I think they figured it out that everybody has three weeks, or the three families have have three uh, weeks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Peace. <laughs> yeah. So you must have seen a lot of changes in the park over the years. Tell oh me, my goodness, yes. Tell me what it was like. What? How old were you when you first came? I was four. 
Oh, how many memories do you have of being four? We've <laughs> <laughs> not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> but tell me what the park was like when you were a child coming. Well, in. it it was very basic. It was uh, it wasn't fancy. It was summer cottages is mm -hmm. what it were uh, what it was, and it um, uh, it's nothing now. Uh, so many of these summer cottages have been built into year-round places yes. and uh, much uh, fancier than our cottage right. is to this day. Right. We have kept our cottage very plain and very simple uh, the first year. We did, we did not have an outhouse. We did not. My mother would not tolerate that. Uh, but, but we did at, at the time were there some that did oh, have oh, yes definitely okay. there were okay uh, but we did not have cold uh, hot water we only um, oh for years even when um, uh, when I was married and we went for the summer or part of the summer vacation um, we did not have hot water then we had to boil the water for the diapers and boil the water for the... <laughs> uh, so it was basic, yep. but my father felt that was good for us too. Um, you had all the other, all the good things in the wintertime, this was yes. to rough it, <laughs> was, it was, was good. Mm -hmm. So how, what would you, how would you as a child spend your day at, when, you were, when um, you were young? Well, it, it was pretty much based on the tide as to when the tide was high and when you could be on the beach. Um, and um, uh, when the tide was high, we were pretty much on the beach, is uh, what we did. Uh, but we used to um, uh, come down to the library, and my, I had, um, my sister was older, and uh, Nancy and I would come down uh, to the library, and in those days we were reading the, um, Nancy Drew books, and we would uh, we would get the later than that to trade in our uh, Nancy Drew books for new new ones. Yep, yep. <laughs> and um, so that was one of the things that we did, and we used to as this is as we got older. When we were little, of course, we didn't. But as we got older, um, we would come down. One of the big things to do was to come down to the Brewster store to uh, wait for the mail to come in and sit on the uh, steps of the Brewster store and um, see all the people from, a, you know, from Brewster Park would come down or from the, the uh, town, yeah. uh, we would do that. Um, but pretty much other than that, we were, uh, there were always activities going on in the park. And so we were pretty much, uh, we stayed pretty much there. Did you have boats? Uh, yes, my father had a sailboat. Uh, there were lots of sailboats mm -hmm. in those, <laughs> that uh, we did. And then uh, as we got older and we, uh, we had our own children, um, the sunfish came in and yes. everybody had uh, the sunfish. Uh, but uh, my, um, my husband completely uh, I was a, a sailor, loved sailing, um, yeah, and so uh, we would have uh, various boats, sailboat races, <laughs> sailboat we would have, and... Um, and that's when you had your children. That's, yes, that's, yes, in later yeah. years. <laughs> so what kind of boats did you have when you were a child? Uh, it was an old, I don't remember the name of it that, that my father had. <laughs> um, was it a rowboat type boat? No, 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 a sailboat. A sailboat. A sailboat. Uh, it was built like a door, like the dories. Okay. It was almost like a dory with a sail, <laughs> is what it was. Uh, and you and your, you I said you had a sister. Do you have other? Yes, yes. My sister wasn't quite so keen about sailing. I loved to sail. And I used to sail with the Eddie girls, uh, Ruth Eddie. Yes. Um, I would be crew on her boat if ah. she were racing in a race. Uh, because I love to sail, uh, but um, uh, so we did sailing. I never sailed by myself um, uh, because my children did and my boys uh, did uh, sailed uh, and still do. <laughs> so 
Did you all, you were always with someone else. Did your father teach you to sail? No, no, never did. I, I never wanted to do myself. You wanted no, to be I crew. was always crew. Yes. Okay. I was always crew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and were these, these, sail, these races, were they just for Brewster Park people? Yes. Yes. Were they regular? Uh, yes, they were pretty regular. Yeah, they were. Like every uh, well, Saturday it was sort of depended upon who was there and what boats were sure. there. Sure. Uh, as to uh, when they had it or how often they had them. Were there prizes? Uh, like, were there prizes mm. they had? <laughs> it was just for the honor. Yeah, <laughs> I, th I think so. I don't remember <laughs> any prizes. Yeah, yeah. When you were young there, were there tradesmen who came by? Oh, yeah, there were. Uh, in fact, I was trying to think of one this morning. Um, he came in, and he was sort of like a, a, a bread, said bread, sold bread, and... Cushman. Cushman, yes, yes, yes. And the, um, the driver was an awfully nice man. Um, but I can't remember his name. Uh, it won't come to me. It won't. And then we also had uh, the Hooper boys who came. We had a, uh, at first we had a um, ice box on the back porch and the Hooper boys would bring the uh, ice for the oh, ice really? box. Oh really? Yes. <laughs> it wasn't Bassett's, it was Hooper's Hooper. who brought ice. Yes. The, uh, you know, the Hooper farm. Yeah. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's another place I remember going. Uh, and when it had the second floor of it, too, it was... Oh, you you're going to gonna have to explain this. Where where are you talking about? Uh, the Hooper, the Hooper farm here in where, Brewster. Where was that? Uh, well, it's the house itself is still there, and half the barn is still there. Um, it's on Main Street. Uh, let me see. Oh, and there again, I can't think of the name. There, there's a restaurant, still a restaurant, where they sell oysters now. Um, the, the fish house? Hmm? The, the, no, 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 no. Further on down. Chillingsworth? Uh, no. Not quite too chilling. The blue crab? Mm -hmm. The oh, blue crab? The one. The blue crab. Okay. It's next. It's not the blue crab, yeah. but it's uh, coming towards Orleans. It's next door to the blue. Blue oh. crab. There are a lot. It was one time a restaurant that served breakfast. Okay. Um, but it's uh, uh, just beyond the blue crab, and it was. Uh, it's sort of up the building that is the was the barn. Um, is sort of up on a hill in the driveway, on a bit of a hill, and it was a regular barn. It had the second story to it when I was a little girl, a uh, regular barn, and uh, <laughs> we always called him old Mr. Hooper, um, was the farmer, and he would um, uh, invite uh, the, us as children out into the, uh, where the farm was, and uh, would uh, pick carrots, you know, and wipe them on yep. his pants and <laughs> give, give us the carrots. And he had, at least two sons. There may have been three, but I, I'm not sure. But there were two Hooper boys yeah. uh, that I remember, and they used to come and deliver the ice to our ice box on the back porch. How perfect! Yes, it was. And did you have to tell them how much ice you needed? I don't. That don't would be my that. mother. I okay. don't remember. Uh, what, what, did, what did Mr. Hooper grow on his farm other than uh, I, Well, I, I can't, I'm carrots and beets and lettuce okay. and so forth. And mother used to go there to get the uh, the fresh vegetables. So she would go there. He yes, didn't come yes, to the yes, park. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, is where she shopped for the vegetables. And I remember old Mr. Hooper and a couple of boys. They were very good looking boys. Oh, all right. <laughs> I remember the boys. But older than you. Oh yes, much well, older. Oh yes, yeah. much older. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah. What about dairy? Was there a milkman? There was a milkman. But I you don't remember, remember, you just know there was. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there was. How did we get our milk? Um, I don't remember. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. There was a house right here on Main Street that sold milk. You could just go and buy it right oh, there. Really? At the I would say it was delivered. Okay. Uh, but I can't remember who did it. It was Ollie Lund. Does that name sound? Uh, I remember that name. Uh huh. Uh, Lund. But you didn't go to his house to get. Uh, no, oh, okay. I don't remember that. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I have heard stories at different times when people would bring mil um, milk, but on meat or pies. But oh. maybe that was before your time. I <clears> guess so. I don't. I don't okay. remember that. So when you were here, your mother had her own car. Uh, as a matter of fact, no. Okay. Uh, uh, Dad, well, it depended. There were a group of people who went from Brewster Park uh, who commuted on weekends. Yes. Uh, and so um, people would, uh, uh, it would be, for instance, Ruth Eddy's turn to drive, and everybody would drive up with her. Uh, most of the, a lot of the time, Dad came back down on the, uh, well, of course, this was before Ruth Eddy drove. But uh, when Dad would come back down on the uh, railroad, and we would go over uh, to uh, meet him in um, Sandwich at the, at the oh, train station. Oh, to Sandwich? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. He would uh, come down. So you must have had a car, so you could go oh, meet yes. him? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, because I, I know we only had the one car. Yes, uh, Dad used to do the commuting, and Mother would have the car. Yes. That was a long trip to Sandwich. Uh, yes. <laughs> On roads then. On the roads then. I really, uh, yeah, I was, must have been pretty little at that one. Yeah. I don't remember okay. that. I do remember going to the railroad station, but I probably was older. Yeah. 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 We always had, um, I guess you'd call her a mother's helper. We always had somebody um, uh, with us. And so it could easily have been that we would stay and Mother would oh, go and right. because I really don't have any memories of doing that. Yeah. Tell me about the house. You've got three children, two parents, and a helper. Yeah. How many bedrooms are in this house? Uh, there's a one, two, three, four, five. Oh, all right. One bathroom. Of course. <laughs> But it was a bathroom. <laughs> yes, it was. Although um, it did not have, um, uh, I was trying to think, and there again, cold water at first. And my mother bought one of the old fashioned tubs, you know, that stand on the legs. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother was little, and uh, it was a small tub, and that we had in the bathroom. Um, uh, so that uh, you would, other than that, it was just the outside cold shower. You did have an outside shower? Oh yes, we had an outside cold shower. <laughs> when you came up from the beach, that's what you did, was to take a cold well, shower. Well, I'm impressed with the shower. <laughs> did you ever go to Brewster Ponds? Did you ever go to Freshwater? Uh, we went to Sheep's Pond. Okay. We used to go to Sheep's Pond quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, particularly there again, if it was a hot day. and. No time. No time. Uh, we'd, uh, we'd go to Sheep Spot. And we used to take, there were, um, there were quite a group of us that were around the same age, and we would go on overnight hikes to beach, uh, to, um, what did I do? Sheep Spot. Uh, and we would ask an older girl to go with us as chaperone. And, um, so that uh, we would go, and it was at the time that we were beginning to smoke, <laughs> and we always asked an older girl who would allow us to bring cigarettes. So you, you, you found the right one to ask. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, you know, we did. We made a couple of mistakes, <laughs> <laughs> but on the whole, uh, we would find uh, one of the older girls to go with us. How oh, exciting. Oh, it, it was truly exciting. <laughs> so you slept out there? Yes, we did. Them. We'd take our sleeping bags uh -huh. and uh, supper, some sort of supper, and we would um, sleep out there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, quite often, if it was on a weekend, <laughs> my father would take us over and drop us off and oh. pick us up afterwards so that we didn't have to walk <laughs> and carry our... <laughs> that would be a long way to carry things. Yeah, to carry things, yeah. Yeah. 
that uh, Dad would uh, take us and pick us up. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful thing to do. I know. Oh, it was terribly exciting. <laughs> so did you swim at night? Yes, we did. Skinny dipping. Oh, all we would do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was wonderful. <laughs> so how old were you when you were doing this? I was trying to think, it's got to be probably around 10, I would mm. say. Um, when, um, let me see, how old was I? I was 10, 11, 12. Um, I, during World War II, my father was transferred um, or was sent down south. We lived in, uh, we were in the south for about four years. Uh, two years in Mississippi and two years in Tennessee. And we we always managed to come to Brewster for some part of the summer. Wow. <laughs> but um, we were there um, and it was, uh, why did I start on this? Um, it was, uh, so that that's why yeah, I know it, I was younger, mm -hmm. around 10 or so, because after that I, I was in uh, the South for four years. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, 10 sounds right for camping. It sounds a yes. little young for smoking. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does sound young for smoking, doesn't it? Well, most of my sister was two years older, and most of my friends uh, uh, were Nancy's friends. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you had to keep up with them. Yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I, they used to make me so sick, so sick to my oh. stomach. <laughs> But you had to do it. But you had, oh, <laughs> good heavens, yes. <laughs> oh, well, I want to I want to go back to Brewster Park. Were there organized um, activities for kids? Oh yes. Were yes. there swimming oh, lessons, tennis yes. lessons? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not tennis lessons, um, and it wasn't at my. Uh, uh, no, we had we had uh, uh, swimming lessons. There was always a coach. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody was hired to be coach, and still is. <laughs> There's mm -hmm. always a coach yeah. every summer, and they now do have tennis lessons. They have somebody. I think somebody a couple of years. There's been somebody from the town. I think who Hockey, comes in yeah. and um, teaches tennis, okay. uh, and um, uh, but uh, yes and. Every morning there was something, even for the very little ones, where it's sort of like story hour and so forth until all, uh, when you're older. It would be games. There'd be various games that you, you would play and um, for a couple of hours every morning. Yeah, always. And then the rest of the day you were at the beach. <laughs> at the beach, yes. <laughs> you, uh, you said you'd go up to get the mail. Yes. What, was there more than one mail delivery? I think there was, but there was one main one, and I was trying to think about the middle of the day, I think it was, or okay. maybe early afternoon, is, uh, and everybody would, a lot of people would walk up, particularly as I say at the time, was yeah. like, uh, would walk up, and um, we used to buy <laughs> the devil dogs, are you familiar yeah. with the devil dogs? <laughs> we used to buy, in my group, uh, buy devil dogs and sit on the front steps of the Brewster store and eat our devil dogs. And Not that we were particularly interested in the mail, but it was just to see everybody and be there. Because, because everybody, everybody came at the end. Was there an ice cream place at that time? No. 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 You had to make do with cakes. Uh, yeah, with <laughs> <laughs> devil dogs. <laughs> An occasional Coke. <laughs> yep, okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and uh, the other thing that we did in the town was to come down to the library. Uh, we would, uh, uh, we were allowed to walk down. Yes, it got so that, and of course, if I was ten, Nancy was twelve, and so uh, we could do it in those yeah. days. You didn't think anything of it. Did you mix with other families, children in the town much? No, it, no it's, we never. Uh, there wasn't really anything. Uh, to draw us together, I got oh the um, Helen Clark, Helen McGregor, I knew uh, because they had a beach house uh, down in at Rooster Park, and so they used to come in and uh, Helen I knew, and we used to um, 
her um, nurse or caretaker would call my mother and um, a date would be set up when they would come and pick me and sometimes my sister because she had her older sister Kathy. Um, sometimes my sister too. Um, a date would be set up where they would come and pick us up in the morning and we would go up there and play for the morning and then they would uh, bring us back. And what house was that? Um, the home o'clock house. Okay, that one, up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, is where we used to play. Yeah. So that's where they spent the summer, and you, that's where yes, you go. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. But uh, they did come uh, down to the beach house. Uh -huh. It was down uh, uh, by the Eddy property. So Helen's about your age. Yes, yes, she is. I haven't seen her in years, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yes. And she had a sister, Betty. Uh, she had an older sister, Betty, and she had uh, Kathy. Kathy. Ka yes, Kathy was Nancy's age, and I was trying to think. I think that was it. Oh, the, and then there were the two older boys. Ah, yeah. Okay. So when you go to visit them, uh, did, was there anything in particular you did together? <laughs> no, the thing that stands out in my mind, uh, usually. Um, Mrs. Clark would be in the living room, um, and it was sort of dark, I think the shades are draw, must have been drawn, and we would, before we went out to play, we would have to uh, go in and say good morning to Mrs. Clark. All right. I can, re I can remember doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I always wanted to, to climb the tower, but he used to say we were not allowed to go anywhere near it. <laughs> And they really used that. That was their water tower, wasn't it? I think so. I think yes, so. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, but it always was intriguing. <laughs> but we never got anywhere near it. <laughs> um, were there, were there, when you were older, were there dances at uh, Brewster Park? Oh yes. Oh yes. I think it was, was every Friday night was a dance. Oh, that was a big. Oh, exciting. You'd get all dressed up and mm -hmm. <laughs> the parents would be peeking in the windows to see what was going on. Was it the same uh, community house that's there now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you call it? The community house. Oh, it is community. Well, yep. like, yep. all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. But there weren't people from the town invited. It was all no, Booster Park. it was all Booster Park, yeah. There were a lot of marriages coming out of Brewster Park. Oh my goodness gracious, yes, there certainly are. <laughs> and I claim that when you're on the beach now and the children that are on the beach could never marry each other because their children would be idiots. <laughs> 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 They're all related, I'm sure. <laughs> do, you, do you think many of the houses are still owned by some of the early families? Or has it, has it moved on from that? I, um, that's hard to say. Yeah. I, I still, certainly some are, and some of the young people are buying some of the, car, the houses. Oh. Uh, they're they're now yeah. no longer cottages, they're houses uh, that are being sold um, now. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, uh, which is, is great. I'm delighted. <laughs> keeps, it, keeps it going. <laughs> well, you had... A, a busy life with a husband who you told me was transferred to many different places and yes. raising your children. Yes. <laughs> and you all came back to Brewster Park? All came back. Well, we always, you, wherever we lived, uh, we would always come to uh, spend our vacations in, in Brewster. Um, my, um, uh, Ken's, my husband, Ken's family, um, uh, lived just outside in Medford, just outside Boston, and of course my family were down here on the Cape, so we would always rent uh, something uh, in Brewster Park uh, for our vacation, and then um, they so that we could see the, the children could see both fam would be yeah. able to visit with both families, and so the children. Uh, began to love it, having been here since they were babes. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they loved it too, and so um, yes, we did. And that when um, Ken retired, 
uh, the only place he wanted to be was Brewster. And uh, so that's when we bought a year-round house in Brewster. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> and that's where you live now? No, no. Uh, I am divorced, and that went when we were divorced. Oh. And I have a little house now off um, uh, Tubman Road on Susan oh, Lane, right. which is just off okay. Tubman Road. Mm -hmm. So what year did you move to Brewster to live permanently? Uh, 1982. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is when we so you saw a lot of change in yeah. Brewster oh, between my. the time you came as a child and the time you moved here. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And then you saw more change from 1982 to the present. Oh my goodness, yes, yes. Well, tell me and if then, you can think back and kind of organize your thoughts. What what did you see change in those early days from the time you were a young child until the 80s when you moved here? I th I think the one thing that sort of sticks out in my mind, that this really was country uh, when I was uh, little. You, you know, talked about the Hooper Farm. Uh, uh, well, and um, I was going to say the main roads weren't dirt roads, but a lot of the roads were dirt. Uh -huh. And a lot of the houses were cottage-type houses. Mm -hmm. It was very simple. Um, and. Uh, I can't. Well, there were, of course, some of the big um, sea captains' houses. It was more like a little country town, yeah, uh, rather than uh, you know a big country town now, right? Uh, you know, with a lot of big houses and so forth. It was. I I, it was, I had heard that some of those lovely captains' houses were not kept up well, at in there and at for over a period of time. That doesn't stick out in my mind. Okay. But I'm sure it, yeah. it, well, I do know the one on Lower Road that's now the historical yes. place. That was sort of run down mm -hmm. at times, um, yes. And then, um, uh, yeah. of course, where our cottage is, we are right next to the eddy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, um, okay. Beside yeah. us is the eddy place. And so, and uh, that has changed. Yes. It was a pasture, and there were animals there, and there were uh, barbed wire along the side of our house because of the animals that were there. What was in there? Sheep? Uh, no, it, I, see, I remember, um, I think there was maybe a cow and a horse ha, huh. in there. And, and that I, was all open fields? It, well, it was, yes, it was open field. Uh, no question about that, yeah. I, I heard somebody tell me they played ball in there. Oh, yes, we did. We yeah. had a ball over in, um, well, we called it Thorndike's Pasture, uh, because the, uh, the Thorndike, right. I guess, had a, well, Eddie Thorndike yes, and all, right. yes, uh, had owned that uh, that whole yeah. area there. Yeah. So it was all was open when you were... It was, yes. Um, um, right next to our house and for a while, but then you went beyond that and you could see that it was the woods that were all over there. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the, where Sears Point, that was all woods. That was all woods. Yes, that was, and I remember that as a child going over there and um, picking high bush blueberries, picking blueberries mm -hmm. over there with my father. <laughs> that would have been nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, on the property you're talking about, there's an old foundation. Was there a building there at any time? I think there was. Oh, I'm sure there was. And, but I'm not sure what it was. Mm. It was pretty dilapidated. I Probably a barn. Uh, it was pretty dilapidated mm -hmm. when I was there. And then, uh, I don't think the Eddies originally owned the um, lot of land on the bluff, on the water. I think they, um, I'm not sure about that, but I think they bought it and then, um, well, perhaps you have all this, Mary Louise and Ruth decided they wanted to live there all year round. And they had the house built and uh, decided after one winter that that was not where they were going to be. Right. Uh, so then they moved back to Lower Road. Right. The, uh, they bought the farmhouse on Lower Road. Yeah. But yeah, that, was, that was not the Thorndike house, the Thorndike No, house. no, that's yeah. the one. No, no. They okay. had bought that when yeah. they decided 
they had built the house on the bluff, but decided that was not the right. Right. All right. Um, did your family ever go out to restaurants to go out to eat? Yes, they did. Um, Latham's was one of their favorites. Ah, yes. Uh, we used to go. Uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Latham were very nice. Oh, I worked part of one summer at Latham's too. <laughs> when you were a teenager? When, when I, yes, as a teenager I did. Yeah. Um, that uh, Yes, we went to Latham's. I was trying to think, was there any other place? It seemed to me there was something over in Orleans, more like a, with a get the fried clams and so forth. In Orleans? Uh, yes. There was the Southward Inn. No. Yes, I remember Southward Inn. Oh, yes, I remember that uh, later on, not when I was little. Yeah. Okay. But later on, I remember the Southward Inn. Um, I had forgotten that. There was the coffee shop. Did you ever stop by the coffee shop here in Brewster? Brewster. I don't remember no. a coffee shop, no. Okay. No. What's the fancy restaurant here now? Ch Chillingsworth. 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 We occasionally would go there. Oh, well. Particularly, um, well, my sister and her husband and um, me and my husband uh, used to go there once a summer, uh, sort of, to just yeah. because it was fun to do it. Yes. And we would go uh, yeah. once a summer to Chillingsworth. Mm -hmm. So now, now that you are an adult and your children are grown and yes. you've moved back here to stay in Brewster, you've seen a lot of changes ever since then, too, Yes, I think. oh my goodness, yes, yeah. yeah, it really has. And particularly in Brewster Park, where all the houses now are, uh, you know, really yeah. substantial houses, uh, yeah. whereas in the original, you know, you would, you would not look twice at Brewster Park uh, when it was originally built, it was just... Really, summer shacks is what it was. <laughs> Perhaps it was more the idea at that time that it was good to, to as your father I, said. Yes, to yes. Simply. That it, yeah. Uh, and uh, that it, uh, um, sort of living close to the land and mm -hmm. uh, not having the same uh, type of life that you had in the wintertime. In, in the city. Yeah, yeah. Was your family interested in any church? Uh, yes, they well, not so much down here. Uh, they were Episcopalian. We were brought up in the. Uh, both my mm -hmm. parents were okay. Episcopalians as they were growing up, and then um, uh, when we were lived at home, yes, we were very active in the Episcopal Church, and we were to uh, well, <laughs> occasionally the little um, uh, Church of the Holy Spirit. Um, Mrs. Dibble um, from, was very active in the oh. Church of the Holy Spirit, and occasionally there would be a party, a fundraiser, and square dancing, and Mrs. Dibble would always speak to my mother, and we would have to go to the party and to the square dancing. Where was the square dance? Um, they uh, they had it right, I can't think, but over there. I, well, it was before that addition was built on. At the, anyway, at yes. the Church of the Holy yes, Spirit. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. And it would be over there that we would uh, go, and we hated it. Because <laughs> <laughs> we that meant we'd have to miss something going on in Brewster oh, Park. And, oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that was about the only we did uh, in the uh, summertime. We did not go to church. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. But we did. Uh, in the winter time, yes, I was. So when you moved back here, and and you were on your own, you know, without children, no, no. Were, what sort of activities did you get into in the town? Um, well, um, I I was active in the church <laughs> when I moved back here. The church, the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, okay. I was um, on the old guild, and um, then um, I was trying to think what else did I do. Um, Children that um, in the winter time, I'm sure, because I was. Well, I know. I had various groups, uh -huh. um, you know, that um, a book group and sure. that sort of thing. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. We approve of that. Uh, yes, we're in a library. <laughs> yes, I, yeah. 
<laughs> and I know you were involved with the library for yes, some time. Yes, I was. I was. Yep. I started, uh, well, I started out as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, um, uh, 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 I wanted to work at the library, so I uh, came as a volunteer, and I did shelving, uh, but I was not too happy with the shelving, and the uh, computer intrigued me. And so mm -hmm. I asked, um, oh, who was it at that time? Oh, was it you? That no, it wasn't no. me. And, uh, I think, I can't remember who was the librarian, but I asked if I could, um, you know, spend some time on the computer. And they said yes. So I um, uh, would do it and somebody would work with me. And I said, if I do it just once a week, by the next week, I will have completely forgotten. So I've got to do it twice a week. <laughs> and they said, fine. And so I did it twice, I worked on it twice a week. And then the clams came in. And I went to the uh, clams class. And um, so then I would do it twice a week. And finally, it was, um, it was Sue Carr who came. And she said, we think, you know, since you are working, you've had training that you ought to be paid. Well, I wasn't going to argue with that. <laughs> so that's when I began to be paid. Oh, I was a substitute, um, I was, and then I was paid and had regular time in the week uh, that I, I would come. Mm -hmm. So did you start working at the library soon after you moved here? No, as a, a no, it was um, uh, act, actually it was when I was going through a divorce that I worked okay. here. I had started to work at, um, I, w I was looking for something to do, to, to some sort of work. And um, I worked at Mark Ford Strike over in, oh, yeah. um, in Chatham? Uh, uh, no, no. Um, in um, Osterville. Oh. In Osterville. I worked over in Osterville, Osterville for two summers. And then I decided I really wasn't happy uh, doing that. And so that's when I decided to uh, volunteer at the library. That I so would do something there. Maybe mid 80s, early 90s, you started coming to the library? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the, when I started there. And I had seen the computer at uh, Mount Thor. And, um, it seemed intriguing to me, and so wow. that when I came to the library and found that yeah. shelving wasn't really uh, something I enjoyed, yeah. <laughs> that um, I uh, asked about the uh, computer, if I could learn the computer, uh, which was great. Uh, they were very... A lot of people it. who didn't grow up with computers <laughs> find it a little <laughs> nerve-wracking. Uh, uh, I, to this day, well, that's why I finally resigned. Well, I was getting old anyway, but I was, um, uh, the computer could do so much more than I mm -hmm. could, and I could not keep up with it. And I figured eventually I'm going to make mistakes and might as well quit while you're ahead. <laughs> so <laughs> that's when I retired. So, how long do you think you were volunteering and working at the library? Um, oh goodness, when I first came, I should talk to, uh, um, was Nina, it Nina would read? Uh, no, what? not Nina. Um, Were you uh, here? The, the one uh, before, uh, uh, Chris, 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 Chris's wife, Chris's daughter was being married and her grandsons are now going. Uh, yeah. to college. <laughs> so, no, I guess I was, I was wondering if you were here when the new, when the last uh, edition was being built. Yes, I was. So you uh, watched. In fact, I came before. Oh. And they, and yeah, I, I was so before that. So you saw all that happen. Yes, yes. With all that. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did the library handle all that transition? Uh, they, it was remarkable. Uh, it, it went uh, very well. I was trying to think of the gal's name. Who was here? Cheryl. 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 Yeah. yeah um, that, um, uh, yes, no, it, it really, uh, oh, there were problems. Mm -hmm. No question about that. But on the whole, you know, as far as anything outward was concerned, mm -hmm. it, it went very well. She's, she's a good planner. Yes, yes. 
it went very well. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any stories about working at the library that you remember that you like to tell? No, I, I really loved it. I just loved it, and particularly being at the front desk, yep. you get to see everybody and uh, chat to everybody with everybody, and uh, I really loved. I hated to give it up. Um, it was great fun mm -hmm. um, that's to do it. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I miss it. Do you have any friends from your youth at Brewster Park that are still around? You keep yes, in touch I with. Yes, I do. I do. And are uh, they people who still come back to Brewster? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, my one uh, friend that, um, and she, of course she knew my sister well too. Um, her name is Betsy Van Zandt, um, mm -hmm. and she came from. Um, um, New Jersey to visit her grand uh, grandparents. Um, she did not own here uh, in Brewster, but her grandparents did. Um, uh, Kirkbride, you may have heard the name Kirkbride. Her grand her grandparents were Mr. and Mrs. Kirkbride. Ah, and good. Um, Betsy used to come every summer, and um, she lives here all year round now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very nice. So you have this yes, that it that long she's time the friend. One. And uh, the another one is Boots Hickok. Um, uh, she has not been as here as long as Betsy has. They bought their house. Um, oh gosh, I don't know. I dare, I dare not say how many <laughs> a long time ago, uh, but not uh, as long as uh, Betsy has. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, I can't think of any more to ask you, but if you have things you would like to tell us. No, I think that pretty much covers it all. I've had such a good time learning this. Oh, really? Well, I, I love being, I've always loved Brewster. It really was one of all the places that we've lived. <laughs> it um, stands out in, in my mind. And uh, it was a great, fam for us, it was a great family place. But you've seen it change from a very rural town to uh, yes. a, a oh what my it goodness. is now. Yes, yes, yeah. That um, uh, uh, it, that to me is what stands out the most. That it um, now and <laughs> and it just shows by the price prices of houses in Brewster Park. Mm -hmm. That to me, uh, you know, is. Exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> what is it about current Brewster that you really appreciate? What makes you love Brewster now? Well, uh, certainly it's physical part. The uh, uh, I love the weather. I love the beaches. I love the town. I love the old sea captain's houses mm -hmm. and um, you know all that. But I think I think it's a very friendly town. And I think it has a great deal to offer in all fields. Um, that um, uh, I, uh, I I thoroughly enjoy it, and I'm glad to be here. And am thrilled that my I have um, children who live here on the Cape. Several, a couple of them here in Brewster. Oh, that's and wonderful. And one in um, Sandwich, and um, which is great. Mm -hmm. That's very I nice. Yes, it's been a very important part of our family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much. This oh, you're a real most pleasure. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> what <laughs> at all. <laughs>